Welcome to Whitetail Edge. I'm Ben Rising, and this week we're going to join team member Holden Holland and his wife Kaylee as Holden takes down a monster Boone and Crockett buck in the hardwood timber of Ohio, with Kaylee running the camera. It's him, get ready. Can anybody do this, man? For archery, press one. For gun, press two. Welcome to season two of Whitetail Edge. What type of bow was used? We killed 11 bucks, averaging 161 inches across the board. For a buck with antlers, press one. We hope you enjoy it. Whitetail Edge is presented by Black Widow Deer Lures. Do you love the bow on? Oh, yeah. Give me, give me, give me that. <laughs> I've always been ate up with deer hunting, the whole aspect of it and everything, but there's nothing out there that I've ever found that is the thrill of shooting a big deer with a bow. I love to bow hunt. I'm ate up with bow hunting, have been since I was little. Seven years old, first deer come in that morning, come in grunting. I shot him and then I was pretty much ate up with it from then on, but my dad wasn't a big bow hunter. He just gun hunted. Basically, I just started picking up one things here and there, and then it was a drive that once I got where I wanted, I just couldn't get enough of it. Got it? Two thousand sixteen started out with a deer that Cody or I, neither one, knew that we was going to shoot. We had no idea what deer we wanted to go after. Uh, you know, every year, for me anyway, when it comes down to it, it's the deer that I see when I get pictures of that flips the switch for me that just says, that's the deer that I want to shoot. 2016, we searched all over and the buck I ended up killing didn't even show up till November 13th. I had no history with him. It was a brand new farm I had just got sewn in through a camera up. And when he showed up, I, I named him Curly because the beam come out and curled in the end. Down home, it's, you're, you got a lot more small tracks. We don't have great big, you know, 500 to 1,000 acre farms. They're few and far between. I mean, if we have a 100 and 150 acre farm down there, we got something. We plant corn, I mean, we plant antler king. As far as managing our deer, that's how we do it. Get stuff ready for the upcoming season here. The deer, they're just tearing this food pot up. It's phenomenal in here, the amount of deer sign and the amount of deer that's poured in here in the evening. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw these hawks up and get ready, stay tuned. So why does Whitetail Edge use Black Widow deer lures? It's 100% pure whitetail deer urines. It's never brown or broken down. Black Widow deer lures are always fresh, collected and bottled within 24 hours of collection to guarantee freshness. So why should you use Black Widow deer lures? Because it works. Visit www.blackwidowdeerlures.com. So on this hunt with Holden, what you're gonna learn was the fact that he got a cold front. And he knew that this was gonna put his deer on his feet. But he knew that he had to be in there. And that's the whole key. When you know your deer and you're doing your homework and you're running your cameras, you know what your deer are gonna do and when they're gonna do it. But you have to wait for mother nature to tell you when to do it. couldn't find anybody to film or anything, so I actually asked my wife. She hadn't hunted since we had any of our kids. It had been over three years since she'd even been in the stand. And I finally talked her into it, and we went in there, and we didn't sit there 15 minutes. It's him, 
Get ready. Coming right this way, down there. Let's walk on the edge of the flat. And he was quartered two a little bit, but I was confident in the Hoyt. And I just put the pin right on the back of his shoulder and actually buried it right through his shoulder, but he ran 80 yards and piled up. We went ahead and seen him go down there. Uh, this is a pretty special hunt to me because I got my wife behind camera, which has never happened before, so you'll have to bear with this on the footage. I just smoked it. And Cody had been with me in the stand all year. I had sat and filmed Cody and I wanted to wait on Cody to get home from work. And Cody and I went back Just in blood. for the recovery later that evening. And here's the arrow. As you can see some blood on there. Some, there's blood there up to right in there. So it actually went in a pretty good ways, I'd say. white belly that rack that deer the reason I think I got to capitalize on that deer that evening was because of that major cold front My dad. we don't normally get days that cold I mean it was a high of nine degrees the next day it was super cold out and we hadn't had it we didn't have hardly any winter at all last year so basically that was going to be our coldest day. That was going to be the worst weather we was probably going to have all winter. So I just banked on that cold weather for that deer to be through there. I've let a lot of nice deer go this year. And this is why right here for a deer like this, you know, this is what, this is what I love to do. You know, Holden's dealt with some stuff in his life for a young man that, you know, you, you don't wish on anybody. But people face these things, you know, Holden lost his dad um, to a farming accident, you know, just a few years ago. Very tough thing for Holden, you know, because he used to hunt with his dad, things like that. And he really didn't talk about it in the show. And, you know, one thing with Whitetail Edge, that's who we are. You know, we're pretty heartfelt. We like you, the viewer, to feel like you know us. And that's just something about Holden. But he's such a good man and he's a good father and a good husband. And he's a great deer hunter. I mean. Holden and Cody, no deer. And that's why they fit with Whitetail Edge. He was actually trying to get downwind. He was quartering too hard. And uh, I actually hit him a little far forward, a little further than I was aiming, but I was confident in the old Hoyt. This is what I love to do, chase these big deer. And uh, I have to thank the good Lord above for even giving me an opportunity to this deer. It was great for me, you know, starting out with Whitetail Edge and being able to film and actually show a little bit about us and what we do you know we put a lot of time a lot of work into it just the whole fact of being able to get that good deer on film and having my wife film that was i mean that was a special moment to me that i'll never forget was having her in there filming that deer so for me to get my hands on that deer with all the work that i put into it all year long and being my first year filming i was tickled to death Stay tuned for scenes of next week's episode. Whitetail Edge is brought to you by Black Widow Deer Lures. Hoy.
Rocky, Hawk Tree Stands, Rogue Bowstrings, Redneck Hunting Blinds, Rage Broadheads, True Fire Releases, Ohio Food Plot Services, HHA Sports, Antler King, HD 200 Ionic Mineral, Upwind Odor Elimination, Big Time, Black Eagle Arrows, Bronk Box, Exodus Trail Cameras, Wicked Ridge Outfitters, and by Woodbury Outfitters. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.